you know, all of those util files you create with all sorts of small functions that you end up using a lot throughout your app? If your utility functions get other functions as parameters, chances are you can improve the performance of your app by saving some extra object allocations with one keyword, inline. Let's see what happens when you pass these short functions around, what inline does under the hood, and what you should be aware of when working with inline functions. If you learn something new, like the video and subscribe to the channel, but only if you think we've earned it. So let's take an example. Let's say that you use share preferences a lot in your app. So you create this utility function to reduce the boilerplate. Then you use it to save a string token. Now let's see what's going on under the hood when preferences.edit is called. If we look at the Kotlin bytecode, we see that there is a new call. So a new object is being created, even if in our code we actually didn't call any object constructor. Let's check the decompile code to make this a bit friendlier. The edit share preferences extension function we defined is here in the decompile code. The share preferences object is passed in. For the commit flag, the default value, false, is passed. For the action, we can see that a new function object is created. And finally, our action implementation is now here. So remember, each higher order function we create leads to a function object creation and memory allocation that introduces runtime overhead. To improve the performance of our app, we can avoid the new function object creation by using the inline keyword. Now the Kotlin bytecode doesn't contain any new calls. And here's how our decompiled Java code looks like. We can now see that things have changed a lot for our save token method. Here we have the content of the shared preferences.edit function directly in our save token method. And then here we have the content of the action implementation. OK, so what happened? Because of the inline keyword, the compiler copies the content of the inline function to the call site, avoiding creating a new function object. If you're trying to mark as inline a function that doesn't accept another function as a parameter, then you won't get significant performance benefits. And actually, the IDE would even tell you that, suggesting you to remove it. Because inlining may cause the generated code to grow a lot, make sure that you avoid inlining large functions. So for example, if you check the Kotlin standard library in files like collections.kt, you'll see that most of the inline functions have only one to three lines. When using inline functions, you're not allowed to keep a reference to the function's past as a parameter or pass it to a different function. You'll get a compiler error saying illegal usage of inline parameter. So for example, let's modify the edit method and add another parameter, an important action, let's call it that is then passed to a different function. We can see that my function of important action produces an error. OK, we have two cases here. Case one, if you have multiple functions as parameters and you only need to keep a reference to one of them, then you can mark it as no inline. By using no inline, the compiler will create a new function object only for that specific function, but the rest will be inlined. If we check the bytecode, we see that a new call indeed appeared. In the decompile code, we can see that everything is inlined except for that important action function. And only here, a new function object is created. Case two, if your function only has one function as parameter and you need to store that reference. So here, just prefer not using inline at all. If you do add inline, then you have to mark your parameter with no inline, but this could cause low performance benefits by inlining the method. So there's no point in using it. So to summarize, to decrease the memory allocations caused by lambda expressions, use the inline keyword. Make sure you apply it to small functions that take a lambda as a parameter. If you need to keep a reference to a lambda or pass it as an argument to another function, use the no inline keyword. So start inlining to start saving with Kotlin.